You're looking at live pictures near Panama City Beach, Florida. People there bracing for the arrival of Hurricane Michael. It is expected to bring with it destructive winds as well as a massive storm surge. The Category 4 storm is strengthening. It's just so frightening and it's, it prepares to make landfall. Forecasters say Michael could be the strongest and potentially most catastrophic weather event to ever hit the panhandle. Florida's governor and emergency officials are urging people who have not yet evacuated to take shelter immediately. And it's so unfortunate that so many people have not done so. Yeah. We talked to Nicole earlier. She said only about half of the people right. there have left. Where that eye wall makes landfall, it's, just, it's going to be devastating mm -hmm. because we're talking about 150 mile an hour winds, mm -hmm. we're talking about a 13 foot storm surge at the same time. And we're talking about billions and billions and billions of dollars of damage. Uh, and we just hope that there is minimal loss of life with this storm. But it is serious. It is historic. And we don't like to see a storm strengthening as it makes landfall. And we certainly don't like to see a storm that's already a Category 4 strengthen as it's making landfall. And this is a strong Category 4. It's on the verge of becoming a 5. And it's only about 45 miles south of Panama City. You can see here's Panama City. Right about here is Mexico Beach. Port St. Joe, Apalachicola here, and the storm is nearing very closely. And already we're looking at the storm surge over in Apalachicola and Port St. Joe of about seven feet. So even before the storm has made landfall, storm surge is rising quickly. And this storm, as I mentioned, is within two hours of making landfall here near Panama City as it moves to the north. Very squally weather has been with them all morning. Tropical storm force winds have already been occurring across this part of Florida. And then as the uh, eye wall makes landfall here, that's where you start getting into the winds that are 150 miles per hour. It is moving to the northwest at 14 miles an hour. Updated pa uh, track now and updated position 35 miles just to the south of Panama City. So this storm continues, and thankfully it's not slowing down. It's going to move pretty rapidly to the north. So if there's any good news, it's that it's not going to sit and linger like we saw with Harvey or even Florence. The storm will continue its forward progression pretty quickly into the Georgia and the Carolinas. Of course, it's going to spread rain to those areas that don't need it after Florence. Here's a look at the storm surge forecast, and this is what we're most fearful of. This is the part of the storm that usually causes the most damage and the most deaths. The storm surge up to 13 feet. You just imagine a 13 foot wall of water coming your way, and that along with the wind speeds. So you can see those wind speeds uh, at least 48 miles an hour, but of course, in the eye wall, it's going to be well over 100 miles an hour, and that tropical storm force wind spreading into the Carolinas. Rainfall, even though the storm is not sitting and slowing down, it's still going to be uh, very heavy rain, 7 to 10 inches across the swath of Florida and southwest Georgia. And then into the Carolinas, we'll get a lot of rain that way as well. Didn't spend a whole lot of time on our weather, but we're pretty nice here. Sunny, 73 today, 72 tomorrow. Increasing clouds Friday and Saturday. Another good chance of rain on Sunday for us. And even cooler early next week with highs in the lower 60s.